I know I'm not perfect, but it's just like, just moody, demanding, obsessive, hypercritical. Sounds about right. Yeah. About a year ago, we had a miscarriage. What? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I feel like it's just, maybe we're just too broken to fix. You know, I had two miscarriages before you were born. You know, I did not know that. Yeah, it was horrible. Really bad. I mean, I thought I was never going to be able to have kids, and oh, and then of course, you know, the second your dad and I stopped trying, we had you. Well, how did you guys get through it? We fought. We fought like crazy, like cats and dogs, for years. Couples fight, what can I tell you? You guys have been together for so long, it's almost impossible not to. I know, but we like really fight. Yeah. And about dumb shit. It's exhausting. Yeah, I know. You know what? Let me give you a little bit of advice about women, all right? And I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so hormonally, we are just completely different creatures. Might as well be completely different species. You see us as overly emotional, and that's true. We're constantly juggling a lot of feelings and anxieties. We have difficulty separating ourselves from our problems. Do you understand? Like, like we're constantly looking for the connective tissue to find a solution. We obsess. We search for emotional cues so that we could figure out the meaning behind the unspoken. It's not pretty in there. Problem is, we expect you to be the same. Now you, you could take pleasure in simple things, right? A basketball game, a video game, really games of any kind. That's true. And this ability to have these simple pleasures, it allows you to compartmentalize your feelings in a very different way. You could do what women only dream of doing. You could shut your mind off. Mm. And when your minds are turned off, you forget to do things, right? You forget to do the dishes. You forget to answer a question when we ask it. Anna calls it the 30 second delay. Uh huh. And then we come at you harder and stronger because we want your respect and attention because we don't understand your need to shut down, your need to daydream. To us, it's lazy and selfish. And that makes us so angry. Mm -hmm. I know. That's the aggression. That's the testosterone. And then we get hurt. That's the estrogen. And then we get divorced, and that's life. Not necessarily, Benny. You know, these are all things that I really wish I understood better before your father died. Couples experience loss all the time in all different ways. It's how you understand that loss, how you navigate it that makes a difference. This feels a little reductive. No, I'm making generalizations, obviously, but I'm basing them on my marriage, my clients, my friend's marriage, yours, it seems. I can't speak for the gays. Or the trans community. No, I'd only be basing that on that show on Amazon. So good. Yeah. So good. But I will say this. Even though you think of us as constantly talking about our feelings, we're holding so much in. Our minds never stop, always analyzing, worrying. I think if women could get more physical, and access our rage that way, a lot would change.